Well, Renee Young has tested positive for coronavirus. She's one of... We don't even know how many. Nobody knows. But well, I mean, there's, many. there's people who know it's it's many. WWE has been completely um, quiet uh, on everything. I believe that um, tests were bad. now. Renee Young did not test positive to a WWE test. Okay, there were um, the the all the the slew of the positives, which were, would have been from the last taping that they did. Um, th- those. Um, those tests came back, I believe, uh, over the weekend, and you know nothing was said over the weekend. Nothing's been said, and they got taping on Friday. Well, hold on a second. Yes, I hate to interrupt your story right now, but you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be getting mad oh, a lot of man. times tonight. Oh man, I'm so. Wait a second. The yes. tests came back this weekend. Yes. I, I thought the whole point was they were testing on Tuesday to get the results before the testing on Wednesday. No, these are last weekend's. Te- these are last week's tests. So when they tested on Tuesday, they got the results back on the weekend. Uh, I think they would have tested um, those. Yeah, last 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 Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. So why were there all the stories about everybody waiting in line and getting tested, and then things and were getting delayed clear. Yeah, because they were yeah. waiting to get their tests back? You're telling me that like a bunch of people didn't get their tests back, and this, they still did tapings anyway? I no, the, I think that everyone no no nobody wrestled on Wednesday that didn't test positive, but that didn't people, get tested and get a result. Right. Okay. So then they did more testing. I believe they did more testing unless it's people who all tested individually because I know Renee Young's test was done, I believe, at her house, but it was done in Las Vegas on Monday. So Renee Young was tested on Monday on her own. This was not a WWE test. And she got her result on Tuesday night at midnight. So that's the story there. Um, John Moxley was also tested, and he did he tested negative. Um, but, you know, obviously he's not out of the water. He was with her, you know. He's been with her constantly, so, He's been with her so constantly, it would seem yes. inevitable. I mean, it's not inevitable, but it would seem inevitable that it would be it would very seem... difficult for him not to get it. You know, I mean, hopefully, hopefully he doesn't get it. But I mean, it it wouldn't shock anyone that he does. But he, um, you know, and, and I mean, it's really tough for him. I mean, this thing is tough for everybody. Um, and she was pretty sick. That's why she got tested. I mean, she's doing fairly well now. She's doing a lot better than she was doing. Or better than she was doing yesterday. Um, hopefully, um, I was told they're pretty confident that the worst is over. But it was, you know, she was sick. And, um, you know, the just the whole situation of going there. And, and, again, we don't know how many people contracted it last week's TV. Um, well, you know, I, I do know, know one thing I, about last week's TV. And yes. that was that they, as we talked about, they had friends and family... Yes. Allowed into the tapings, and the rule was you can't wear a mask. Yes. And now here we are. Yes. We know Renee Young for sure because she came out publicly, but for sure, for sure, there's she's many not others. the only one. It could be ten. It could be two dozen. We've heard I don't all sorts say, of numbers. I, I don't. I don't want to throw. I don't want to throw any numbers. Well, out we there, don't have to throw was... a number out, but we can say that we've been told from people various numbers, including ten plus. Multiple plus. people told me 10 plus, and 10 plus you. Is a, 10 plus is a good number. And other people uh, have said it could be as many as two dozen. These are the numbers we have heard. We're not saying these are the numbers, but yeah. multiple people have thrown out 10 plus, and at least one or two have thrown out it could be as many as two dozen. So it's definitely more than one. Oh, yeah. From a taping where friends and family were invited in and nobody was allowed to wear a mask. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, this, come on. This, look, you know, look, I mean, the wrestling thing is bad. This whole country, and I don't want to get into this t- today because we have more bigger, well, we have bigger fish. Well, listen, we can talk big. plenty about wrestling and not talk about the country because this wrestling thing ties into the rest of the company, the, the country, the country. It's so, it's 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 so bad. Well, we, we, okay, we, but we do have an issue in the sense that WWE is taping on Friday and Saturday. They're going to tape uh, two weeks of Raw and two weeks of SmackDown on Friday and Saturday, and then they come, come back on Wednesday and Thursday where they would tape the big NXT specials. Um, that's when they're going to be taping those shows. And and two weeks after that. So we in, in, you know, we don't know. But the point, the point is, is if they have anyone 
Nobody, nobody in Florida, the, the, um, New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut uh, today announced that anyone who's coming from certain states, Florida, Texas, a few others, the states that are really having problems right now, um, that you cannot, you, you can go there, but you cannot fly back into New York, New Jersey, or Connecticut without two weeks of quarantine. And AEW, you know, that would be, you know, they have, they have plenty of guys that live in those states. And WWE has virtually every single executive who lives in those states. So I don't know what they're going to do. Um, I know that WWE hasn't said anything to anyone. We've asked. Nobody knows anything. Um, the tapings as of this moment. Talent doesn't know what's going on. They're finding out what's going on from reading the internet. It's well, uh, what didn't somebody wasn't me Yim on like um, some like uh, uh, what's it called like some you know whatever a zoom thing or something i don't think it was zoom but it was something like that and you know it had been out but she didn't she, that's how she, she actually found out on some live thing that people watched but yeah it's it's ridiculous but um yeah i don't know um i've had different things speculated to me with the idea that maybe they'll fly everyone in and out of philadelphia and they'll uh you know arrive back to philadelphia and then drive back home which sounds like but if even if you drive back home, you're still supposed to self-quarantine. You're not, like, getting out of this quarantine by not flying into a state. Like, no matter how you get to well, these three states, you're supposed to self-quarantine when you get there for two weeks. Yeah, well, you I You could know. crawl there, you could dig a hole, you could I, I don't, go in I a don't, hot air balloon. You're still supposed to self-quarantine when you get there. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any answers. I know that AEW is hoping... That the fact that they're going to be testing everyone, and WWE is too. WWE is not is is going to be testing everyone at every, at, at at these tapings from now on. Um, you know, whatever. Listen, and, I don't want to pile on, but did we really oh, have to dude. wait until there was an outbreak to decide it's time to start testing? Like Look. they really thought somebody there, and by somebody I mean Vince. It's like, not even he, Vince. Just Vince. No, it this, is Vince. It's, well, his Vince it's, it's, it's Vince at the end. At the end, it's Vince. Yeah. Li this guy because, really thought that we're never going to have a positive. We're just going to check everyone's forehead. We're never going to have a problem. We're just going to keep doing it this way. And then, of course, oh, it turns out we got an outbreak. Ah, you know what? Maybe now we should start testing. What about all the people that are sick? I got, look, it's the worst. And, and you know, there's people that you know. Um, there's, there's, I'm pretty sure that there are names that are my friends that are on that list. I don't want to talk about it, but I'm pretty sure. Um, and, you know, I mean, and, and look at like, look, I'll, I'll, you know, again, you know, John Moxley, you know, wants no transparency. He wants, you know, everything out uh, as far as what happened. So, um, I mean, like I said, she was pretty sick. She lost her sense of taste. I don't know if she has that back, but I know she did that. I know she was like pretty much bedridden. Obviously, she was well enough to tell people today, um, you know, and today would be the first. She got, like I said, she got the test back. I think she had the test back res result back around midnight last night. And, you know, and look at, at John. You know, obviously, he, um, as soon as, you know, he pulled himself off of the show, and they're fine with it. Obviously, at AEW, and they mention and they mentioned it on the air. It's not like they're hiding from it or anything like that. And they actually stopped, you know, QT Marshall and Anna J and um, Lee Johnson and um, oh God, um, Alan Angels, and there may there may be others. All the all the QT's guys um, were you know that that would sit in the crowd. Um, they were all from Decatur. Were all told not to come. Now QT did not got it. QT does not have it, but QT was in contact with somebody who's not in the wrestling business um, that tested positive this week. So, and then anyone who's around QT, which is his students, um, they were all told not to come. So that was the deal there with AEW. Um, but a, a, you know, AEW is hoping that because they're going to be testing everyone, and I guess WWE would probably be hoping the same thing that they would be able to fly people in because of the. Uh, you know a negative test i don't know how that's going to work out i mean this is all you know everything is to be determined AEW is supposed to tape on uh, wednesday and thursday of next week and the you know the order goes into effect uh today so tomorrow's wwe taping is affected by this order so i don't know what's going to happen and uh, there's not exactly tons of time for them to figure this out so that's the other thing so with with moxley I mean, you know, I just want, I'm going to put a, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm going to put a real life face on this story, okay? 
uh, John Moxley and Renee Young. Okay, they've been together the whole time. She's sick. Okay, so he is basically in in this situation. Okay, this is the John Moxley situation. Um, he isn't. He is not feeling sick. He's been around someone with COVID um, constantly. He was suggested to go to a hotel by somebody. And the reality is, is that he did not want to go to the hotel because there's a he feels that there's a pretty decent chance that he may have it, but hasn't tested positive for it yet because it takes several days before you have the test. And she got it first. You know, she you, I think that she had a negative test after she had a negative test after she was exposed. OK, but then she tested. Then she got sick after this. And then had a positive test. So that's the chronology of all this. Because, in fact, when you get infected, you can test negative for several days, even though usually, you have it. Usually for about four days, yes. This is, this is why you need to test this, before this is every why, single show. Right. So this is why if there was an out, if somebody was positive, like, you know, a week ago or so, um, you know, the, 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 the thing is a lag. That's why, um, you know, when it comes to... Uh, you know, certain things in the openings, and everyone goes, ah, it's, you know, look, we opened up, and two weeks later, ah, the numbers are barely up, because it doesn't work that way. You know, now we're at a situation where all these places that we worried about, every single one of them setting records this week, or this, you know, yesterday. I mean, and probably today, too, for all I know. Um, so that's, but yes, yeah, so that's the nature. So the thing is, he doesn't want to go, he doesn't want to go to a hotel, because he, what if he has it, right? You know, he may spread it. He doesn't want to leave his wife's side. She's sick. What if she gets sicker? So, I mean, they're doing the thing of, you know, different parts of the house. That's what they're doing in real life. And hoping, but, you know, obviously, they're going to be in the same house still. Um, it's it's like a no-win situation. There's no good answer. Um, you know, as far as Fighter Fest, it's not exactly the first thing on his mind. And there's no answer to that. You know, I mean, maybe, you know, in a week we'll hope, you know, it'll be... You know, yeah, but there's honestly, no answer to fight. Honestly, there's no like, answer to fight. Fighter, fighter Fest, right Fest is low on the list of concerns, but the reality yes. is, I mean, yes. if she if she is better in let's say three days, okay, he should be doing a two week quarantine. Yes. So he's not going to make like it's it's almost impossible that he would make Fighter Fest, even if he never even gets it. He still should be doing the quarantine. He's yeah. living with somebody who has it right now. Uh, I know, I know, it's a bad situation. Um. And, you know, that's just one family. There's probably many other families and every and I will say this of the families in WWE that know about the outbreak, which is probably a substantial number because word was probably spread. I can tell you that I know families that are understandably, you know, very concerned because they don't know. They don't know anything. So, you know. There's a lot of there's a lot of bad stuff here, and you know, in the end, yes. Dude, it's, here's it's, a bad thing to think about, and I don't want to say too much about this because we don't know if anything happened. But I mean, it is something definitely to think about. They have been running nonstop with nothing but a forehead temperature check for months now. Okay. Yes. They yes. test for the very first time, and it could be two dozen people that test positive. You know what yeah, that tells me? You know what that tells me? There's probably several wrestlers that were asymptomatic with COVID working these tapings probably several times over the past couple of months. And then they're just going out and doing whatever because nobody even knows they have it because all they're doing is testing everybody's temperatures. That's terrible. It's terrible. Like the whole point of testing, it's not like, well, you know, no one seems sick. Like, okay, but here, here's the, the, hold on, wait, wait, no, no. Okay, the wait. whole point of testing in masks, okay, it's it's not even so much about well, are our guys getting sick? Are our women getting sick? Like, that's important. But also, like, are they having it and they're running around and they're getting on airplanes and they're going to hotels and they're running around Orlando and they're just doing whatever, spreading this around? Nobody knows because they're not testing anybody. Yeah, well, here's, here's, here's another one, okay? Um, depending on the day and everything like that. But let's let's say, you know, and again, I've seen different studies. Studies vary, but... but the testing is probably going to catch 60 to 80 percent. So let's say it's just for the sake of arguments, 15. There's probably, you know, another half dozen, you know, or three or four or whatever 
you know, by percentage that also have it but tested negative. Well, so, Renee is one who ended up. Ren- getting, Renee would be. Renee would be. Young. She's one. Yes. Okay, so if we know there's one, I mean, there's a decent chance that other people took a test after doing that taping where nobody was wearing masks because they were not allowed. And they ended up getting coronavirus, and they didn't they didn't test positive for the WWE's test, but they may have it now, and they may be developing symptoms at any time. Yes. I got to say this, too, about tonight, because um, we already have talked about WWE. I watched AEW also, and there were, there were people in masks in the stands, but there were a lot of people in the stands. Um, I mean, it's outdoors. It is safer. You know, it is safer, but I, I would not call it safe. I, I will say if what... If they are allowed to tape, you know, um, next week, and this is for both WWE and AEW, um, they should insist on, at the very least, everyone in the stands with masks. Not optional, not, it's it's up to you. Obviously, at AEW, it was up to people because I looked when they had some of those crowd shots and there was Jericho and Orange Cast who were brawling in the crowd. And you can see a lot of people. And there were absolutely people with masks, but mo- they were the minority. They were not the majority. And... Um, you know, it's it's. I think that it ha it has to be mandatory for everyone. I know that it. You know, in Orange County, you know, no, they don't. They they're in Duval County, AEW. Um, NXT is in Orange County. In Orange County, it is mandatory. I know WWE did tell me. Then is the only thing WWE's probably told me in the last day or so, is that the uh, you know the rule of everyone when they leave their house unless they're exercising has to wear masks. They believe this is for Friday's taping. Or at least this is what this is as of like yesterday. The belief was that it does not apply to them because they're in a private oh, facility. Oh come on! You kidding that's, me? That's what I was told. Put the masks on. No kidding. Hello. Yeah, I know. I know. But you know what? This time, you know, it's like we 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 said stuff for months. The reality is, is like now it's too late. Okay, we were, we, you know, whatever. It's, it's, it's like yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's too we, late we, for we, this current batch right here, but we, it's we not can, too I mean, late moving forward. Oh to- no, no, of course, of course, we can, we can make it the best we can, but the damage is already done. Okay, there's, or, or there, there's significant damage that has been done now. It's, it's no longer, well, you know, nothing's happened. You remember, you know, I or you know. Levesque and and you know even other people it's like have asked me it's like look they've been doing it and nothing's happened and I said look the odds are maybe he ran know. out of that magic spray yeah well yeah I, I've told people the odds are that there won't be one but if you keep doing it there might be one and if there is then it's gonna <laughs> spread <laughs> dude the That's odds the, the odds were not that there wasn't gonna be one the odds were that it was inevitable they were running tapings with no testing and no masks in Florida, like well, there's well, no, there's, no, well, it's not. Got, hello, we, I mean, there was yeah, gonna be something. Okay, okay, well, I I do have to say this. Okay, in March, Florida wasn't that bad. Florida got real bad the last couple of weeks. I mean, Florida, and everybody it, knew that. Yes, and then they didn't change except it. for one guy. Apparently, well, there's probably more than one, but but the one guy is the main guy. I I do not believe that he was the only one sitting on that plane in the decision making thing. Thinking like Donald Trump and laughing. I'm about sure this. there were probably several, but at the end of the day, it's his company. Yes, he no, makes no, 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 the no, no, decision. No. Of course, you can have a hundred guys saying we don't want masks on television. Vince says put the damn masks on, and they're going to wear masks. Absolutely, no. At the end of the day, this is 100 percent Vince. This is this is Vince. You know, and and you know, there's others who probably egg him on, or or you know. Or just like, yeah, Vince, you're right. You know, kiss his ass, agree with everything he says. But at the end of the day, this is Vince. And there's, you know, and and the behavior of this last couple of days, it's like, again, um, I'm usually, you know, I, I, I dealt with Vince for 1983, you know, 1980, well, really 84. So 36 years, okay? And it's like, Vince is Vince. And I... I get Vince. I'm not. I'm usually not surprised at Vince. You know, even when he went back to Saudi, I told everyone. You know, it's like the only way he's not going. It's like he's not making the decision not to go. The only way he's not going is if he's told by, you know, Trump, you cannot go. Any other way, he's going. You know, and that's like this. Okay, how do you know? It's like I, I get Vince. Okay, I don't agree with Vince on stuff, and sometimes I agree with Vince. I don't disagree with him on everything, but. But the thing is, I, I really do get him. I understand his decisions on talent, even if I don't agree with them. I explain why. 
but this one, I got to say, the last couple of days, as much as I, I, I do, you know, like the, the, the first time they had the first COVID positive, they told all the talent right away. And it, it did take a week before they told, you know, or several days before they told anyone else, but they did tell the talent right away. And it was because, you know, the talent was, you know, I'm sure it was pretty much implied, don't tell anyone. And eventually somebody did, and it took a week. And then they, you know, and then when it came out, they admitted it. The last time they... um told people i mean you know was a week a week ago monday or whatever it was they told yeah a week ago monday so nine days ago they told everyone that that day now they waited till the tv tapings were over um but they told everyone and then they you know canceled the tv taping and all that but this one this one is different this one they went quiet and this is not like and that's what really worries me because um you know again for them to do that, it's got to be really, really bad, and they've got to be really scared, and they've got to be not a, not having an idea of what we can do. I'd be now. fucking scared too. Yeah, I know. How is this not a big news story? It's outrageous. It's outrageous. You know, I mean, the the thing is, is it's it's funny, um, but you know what? I mean, there there are college football teams that have had tons of people. I mean. What was it the other day? I'm watching the news and it's like, you know, this college football team and this college football team and the NHL, like 11 players and all this. This is it's it's not just WWE. This no, is, it's this. not. But you know what? These other sport leagues are trying. Oh, no. That And look, and when you try and shit happens, shit happens. When you don't even try and you have an outbreak, that's a big story. Why the fuck weren't you trying? No kidding. No kidding. And no kidding. And you know what else? You know, it's like, it isn't like it's been a secret. It's not like after every freaking taping, you and I, since March, you and I have talked about that all they're doing is taking their temperature. This is not some, like, big secret that all of a sudden, last week, people all of a sudden found out when they finally tested, you know. But whatever, that's... And honestly, issue. you know, I'd be scared if I were Vince. Because God forbid something really bad happens... You think your 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 goofy little paper that you sign, your hold harmless, is going to protect you if something really bad happens and and word gets out that you weren't doing shit except checking everyone's temperature? Yeah, but you know what? I mean, there's a lot of businesses that's that you know when you go in. Look, you know, I, I mean, I, I tell you, you know, like I probably you know have gone to my last restaurant for a long time. I actually told my family that today it's like we're not going to any restaurants for a while i mean well we we may um take out and you know eat at a park or eat it you know whatever but we're not going in anymore um at least for a while but we did go and they did take uh, they they took our temperature that's it we didn't get a COVID test to go in the restaurant and that was probably pretty stupid in hindsight of us but the reality is, is that's kind of how the world is and that's probably also why we're you know getting this second stage of the first wave because of you know it's 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 emblematic of everything yeah but you dave know? there's a big difference okay if you and your family decide that you want to go to the cheesecake factory you don't have the option of showing up at the cheesecake factory 24 hours in advance getting tested and basically sitting in a room by yourself and waiting for the results and then you can go into the restaurant okay it's very different from a billion dollar company they can fly you in whenever the hell they want. They can fly you in a day early. They can test you. And then they can allow you to either do the show or not do the show. It's a big difference. Well, they they, they, they are um, flying everyone in early this week. They are now? Yeah. I'm talking about the past. I think they, What I led think, to all of this? Oh, I know. Look, the da like I said, the damage has been done. It's too late now. I mean, not too late to change, but it's too late to to keep from this from happening because it already because it already happened. You're right. So they need to change, which does well, mean well, they flying everybody in early. They are doing testing them in advance right before every show. They are doing that now. And too. and the people in the audience, listen. Okay, people in the audience aren't going to be allowed in, as you know. You but you, but you but must I, 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 li listen. If they want to say masks are mandatory, they better. Okay, it should I think be bo both companies, It should be that everybody needs need to, to wear that. them, but if you decide, okay, well, you know what? At the very least they have to be mandatory. They cannot they, they be restricted. To, they have to be mandatory. I I I I I don't, you know, I don't care which company it is and you know, we'll see. I I'm going to bet that neither of them do this, but I believe that at this point they especially in Florida, 
Um, I mean, more in Orlando. Orlando's worse, but but it doesn't matter. Um, that ma- the masks um, in the crowd, you know, as far as everyone in the crowd who's not a performer in the ring. I'm not saying the announcers, you know, should wear masks. I mean, because you really can't do it. But as far as the people in the crowd and the wrestlers and everything like that, I mean, like you know, there could be exceptions with, um, you know, Britt Baker or something in her little um, thing. I mean, I get that. They're television performers and all that. But as far as non-television performers who are in there to be audience extras or fans or friends or whatever, um, they they really should all be wearing masks. There's no reason not to at this point. So at this moment, Ric Flair's all right? Ric Flair's okay today, yeah. Yeah, but I tell you what, I mean... That's the one that's, um, you know, and, 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 you know, I mean, look, Jim Ross has been announcing, too, it's and all that. But Ric Flair, it's like he really, they really picked a great taping to bring him back as a regular because um, he was there for, you know, uh, Monday and Wednesday of last week. So he's there for both days. And, yeah, he's okay. Uh, but, you know, yeah, I mean, can you imagine? I mean, I wasn't happy that he was there in the first place. Now it's just like... Jesus Christ, what a, what a time! Um, so, yeah, he's 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 okay. So, but it doesn't, you know. I mean, I I hope it stays that way. You know, I hope it stays that way for everyone. It's just, man, it's just a, it's just a really bad deal. And you know, look, every bit of criticism that they get for it, it's deserved. There's there's not there's no. I'm sorry. There's no excuse for this one because everyone in the sports world, every single day I read about the sports world and all the different things that, that they were all going through. I mean, look at like whether it's AEW. Look at UFC. Or U- Dana UFC. hates masks and look at all the stuff he's doing. And and look at and UFC's, U, UFC's had positives too. I mean, they've had, um, you know, I mean, a couple of antibodies positives, but they've had, um, um, let's see, they, I mean, I think they've had. Uh, a couple. Well, listen, uh, the thing about UFC that really is like, when you compare the two, it's just astonishing. It's one thing. If you're running shows in Vegas and there's a commission and they're going to require things, okay? But they're doing this Fight Island, all right? And the whole point of Fight Island is so they can run shows with people that have travel bans and can't get into the United States for whatever reason, okay? Well, that was that was, that was was the original reason. Now sure. everyone can get in. But, but the point is, look at what they're doing on Fight Island in Fight terms Island, of safety. It's it's in Fight, a fucking biodome right now. Fight Island You can't is actually, get in, you can't get out. Fight Island is actually the safest thing. I mean like they're they're flying everyone to four four places. They're uh, Moscow, London, uh, I think it's Rio, Rio or Sao Paulo. I think it's Rio, but it's it's a city in Brazil and Vegas. So depending on which of those four cities you clo- you live closest to, you are flown into that city, you are tested in that city, you stay in that city. Until when the results of that test come in, if they are positive, you go back home. If they are negative, then you go to Yas Island. At that point, you're tested again, and you're going to be tested regularly while you're there. And you're going to be there for a couple of days. And after your fight, you're going to be tested. And if you are, if you test um, positive after your fight, you're 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 staying there until you're negative, and no one's getting in. And, um, yeah, there, it's like, a, um, the, on the entire island, it's just the workers involved with the show and nobody else. Nobody can leave. Nobody can come in. It's a freaking biodome. Yes. They are going to great lengths. You know, I mean, we have all been for, for very fair reasons critical of UFC, but once they did start back, um, they're doing, they're doing the best they can. And all these other sports are doing it and, you know why WWE felt that they were so above when when you know like you know st- eh, it's not you know whatever you know did they play ignorant I, I don't you know it's too late to even care well not to care but it's too it's too late to go in there and and you know say you know whatever they were you know they were they fooled themselves into thinking it wasn't really a big deal and it was just a minor inconvenience to them that forced them to not have fans and Vince's you know talking about fans at SummerSlam and everything like that, which is 
you know, unlikely to happen, to say the least, or when he can go back and telling people, you know, like, we got to, you know, start booking those arenas again. And it's like, that's the mentality that's, that's going to keep us here in the same situation for a long time to come. You know, that that's the mentality at the top of the country and the top of many states. And, you know, it's really depressed. It's Today was a very depressing day because, you know, the numbers and the realization of everything that all this time and and these other countries not all of them you know brazil's in bad shape um mexico's in worse shape than us um mexico's bad you know i mean if you read last week's observer and this week's observer is going to be you know whenever i get it done this week's observer is going to be just like last week's observer if you read that you know uh here and there section with death after death after death we got another week of that same thing um in mexico it's bad um it's you know so it's it's worse than here but there are a lot of countries like Germany and Italy and everything like that that were real bad and they're getting a, and they're a lot better and we're not um we're worse and well it depends on where you are but there are many places in this country there are that places are significantly that are, worse there are places that are better and yeah all the all the people with the cowboys you know running the 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 the, the state um every one of those states or not i think every one of them um there might be an exception here or there, but Florida isn't one of the exceptions. Um, I think actually Georgia is. I think Georgia isn't so bad right now, and they did open early. But um, well, whatever. Uh, it's we, you know, we, you know, we made another round of mistakes, like the first round of mistakes. We're making all kinds of mistakes, but that's another issue. Um, but yeah, 